the distance between the MP40 and the MP43 is a long one for the Axis in Normandy. And if you want to beat a Thompson up close, you're going to need all the help you can get. What's up, scholars? It's your professor here, Enlightened Enlisted, and today we're going to be looking at the Irma EMP Premium Squad here at Enlisted. The Axis have always seemed to be more of an MG center focused, but for the high, and I mean the high price, of 4,800 gold you can access one of my favorite premium squads in the game. This squad is a four-man team armed with the Irma EMP, a large backpack, four medical kits, and of course, the trusty explosive pack. One thing I noticed right off the bat that we did not get with this premium squad is a pistol. Like seriously, Dark Flow, you couldn't have put like a Walter PPK into this deal for us at all, seriously? Perk-wise, these guys are good with 35% stamina increase, 75% med pack usage speed, and a reduction of horizontal recoil by 30%, 100% stamina, and 40% increase in jump height. As you guys can tell from these perks, this SMG squad is meant to get up close and personal. Taking a look at the weapon itself, you can see that it has a 570 rounds a minute, a lightning fast reload time at 2.3 seconds, vertical and horizontal recoil are both the same at 6 which makes staying on target very easy for me because you have a very circular type of recoil pattern. With 32 rounds in the magazine, this will allow you to finish off American squads in the open with relative ease. As said before, you gotta use this SMG up close and personal as you can see with the damage profile and the muzzle velocity. It does make long range firing a little bit harder, but the sights are very good for that close quarter combat, maybe even to medium range, but at long range, it's kinda hard to hit the target. Gameplay wise, if you're an aggressive player, then this squad is great for you because you can use them in those close more urban style levels we're starting to see make appearances in Normandy but if you find yourself on levels like swamp or airfield you're going to be struggling to be using the squad effectively now for the question that is on everyone's mind does it work the exact same way as the suppressed gold weapon order version and the answer is 100% yes and I'll go over the history of the unit and the weapon later on in this video so stay tuned for that and if you haven't subscribed already please consider doing so it really helps the channel out personally I kept the large backpack on these guys as the likelihood of you running into like a 1919 squad or a BAR in Normandy is pretty high and you're going to need to keep these guys alive in order to push objectives. Later in the progression, I do find myself using the MP43 squads more effectively because they just outclass the Irma EMP, but you do get that XP boost for the premium squad, so I keep them in my lineup, plus it's just nice to be able to bring in three assault squads. I do tend to use this squad more on offense than defense because of the range restrictions, but they are very good at turning flanks, so if you are going to use them on defense, defense, you can actually just kind of push out from the objectives and try to find those flank rallies, and I find that to be the best use of this squad on defense. Offense-wise, you can pretty much do whatever you want with this squad, just going guns a-blazing because it is a great assaulter. I did test them out with smoke grenades over the explosive pack, and I found that to be very effective, so if you want to start using smoke grenades, you can with this squad because you can kind of close that distance, but for me, it's really hard to get rid of the explosive pack. I mean, it's the ultimate weapon. All right, so my favorite part of the video, the history behind the weapon and the unit. Let's start off with the weapon itself. The Irma EMP was a design brainchild of Heinrich Volner, who was basically the German version of John Moses Browning. The SMG project was privately funded by the Weimar Republic despite the restrictions put on to Germany by the Treaty of Versailles. But the Great Depression would hit and funding would dry up completely. Volner attempted to sell this weapon commercially, but was unsuccessful, and in order to make some money and put some food on the table, he sold his intellectual property to Irma Firearm Company. Irma would go on to sell this weapon internationally. Oddly enough, most American gun collectors were able to get their hands on this weapon because of the large purchase of Irma EMPs by Mexico in 1939. But if you see one at a gun show, it's most likely a Spanish clone of the Irma EMP, which was designated the MP41. So be on the lookout for that. There's actually an E that is encrusted on the bottom of the SMG if you're looking for an actual German-made EMP. Now, this weapon was mostly given to to policing units in occupied territories such as France or Poland, but it did see service in a very famous SS unit. That would be the SS Charlemagne, which was a French SS unit. It did see some exclusive use with them throughout the entire war, and some sources even say they preferred the Irma over the MP40. The EMP is considered to be quite a rare weapon of World War II, with less being produced than the more famous STG-44. The low numbers of this weapon seen on the battlefield probably have something to do with its production cost. The Irma EMP 
EMP cost 800 US dollars to make back in 1939, which would make it one of the most expensive, if not the most expensive SMG to make in World War II. $800 in 1939 is roughly 16,000 US dollars in today's money, which I find interesting because according to the Rock Island Auction Company, the last Irma EMP that they sold was for $16,000. So what about the unit that you are playing in the game? Well, you are playing the 16th Field Division, which is a Jaeger Regiment. This was a light infantry that fell actually under the Luftwaffe branch of service. These units were designed for strictly defensive forces or keeping them in quieter sectors of the German occupied territory. Each unit could range from having a bunch of combat veterans from the Eastern Front or having just raw recruits with no combat experience whatsoever. The 16th Field Division would fall to the latter category, being formed in 1942 and stationed in the Netherlands up until D Day. German forces obviously needed as many bodies as they possibly could to turn back the Allied invasion, redeployed the 16th Field Division to Army Group B. They would find themselves deployed in the area of Caen, where they would see extensive fighting against the Canadian and British forces. You actually play a level in the game where this division fought the British and Canadian forces, and that level is actually the airfield. It would be there that this division was absolutely wiped off the map, and the remaining infantry was actually rolled up into the 21st Panzer. Sadly, none of the 16th Division fueled officers survived the war, and we have no first-hand accounts of the actions they took place in. We can, however, read about the Canadian and British perspective of the assault on the airfield in the book British Armor in Normandy Campaign by John Buckley. Overall, this is a fun squad to use, and it stacks well into the late game, but the high price tag and now the addition of the suppressed Irmas in-game, I find this squad a bit lacking for me needing to purchase it. Overall, I give this squad a 4 out of 5. I hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video, and thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe to this channel so you never miss an enlightened moment. And as always, scholars, hit those books and hit those bottles. Cheers.